Recording start. Recording start. Hey man. Seriously, oh, this is like a vlog camera. This, this is amazing, yeah. फिजिकल गिफ्ट विच इज जोर बॉक्स एंड दिस शूट इज एक्चुअली नॉट नेसेसरी बट राइट एज यू कैन सी राइट ओवर हियर लेट्स शो दिस वे आर ऑलमोस्ट गोइंग लाइक ट्वेंटी थ्री किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम माई ऑफिस इट्स गोना टेक मी फोर्टी फोर मिनट्स राइट नाउ टू रीच टू दिस डेस्टिनेशन ये ब्रिज पे चढ़ना है या नहीं 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 ब्रिज पे नहीं चढ़ना है सो या आई मीन वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू दिस लोकेशन just for the sake of these two words which is customer experience uh for me uh it has always been somebody if somebody has brought uh, bought my product i just make sure that at least like bare minimum 2 saal tak unko acha experience mile and now that doesn't mean that 2 saal ke baad main customer ko aane bhool jaunga ye wo no it's not like that but at least when we are creating a product we should think that okay fine at least for 2 years that customer who is buying our product should be extremely happy with the brand not with just the product but with the overall brand so that's brand's customer experience and after that what i feel is after within 2 year the reason why i say 2 years is because i always play the game of forever right so why am i saying 2 years because within those 2 years you as a brand would also be growing you as a brand would also be uh you know uh, developing new strategies and things like that and this is where exactly if i am not mistaken in 2020 it was right when we delivered that uh those parcels yes, manual yeah. it was and we'll show that video as well i did that uh, another uh, video on customer experience i don't remember the title it's still on the youtube we'll show it over here I was saying that same thing where I was uh, going and delivering a few parcels within the city to my customers, where I was uh, selling some e-commerce products. And that point in time, I thought, okay, fine, let me just surprise uh, randomly four to five customers who might be staying in my city, and if they have ordered my products, I'll manually go over there. I myself go over there and deliver the packages and surprise my customers. So that was like an additional effort which I uh, did. and similar to that now just imagine in 2 years all these 2 years all those customers are definitely more than happy uh, that i have done something and now in these 2 years span of time i as a brand or a business has also grown with my creative strategies has also grown with a lot of other marketing angles branding elements and which is where my nft project is right now so in 2020 uh, like uh, before covid hit india uh i was doing this e-commerce thing i was doing agency thing but i never was into nft because i didn't even know whether that would that was existing or not so in 2021 i am all into nfts uh in august 2021 i created my own project as well by the time by this time right now in april 2022 I have more than 400 NFTs collected, so I'm a collector as well. And now I'm all thinking about more and more brand experience, customer experience in a completely different way. 
So now today, while we are going on the shoot, the reason why I contextualized all these past, uh, you know, brand efforts and all is because in 2022 now, what I'm doing for my holders, it's no more customers, it's holders. People who are holding my NFTs are my uh, customers or holders or whatever you want to say. But uh, for, for that brand loyalty, for that brand experience, for that customer experience, for that holder experience, we airdropped one of the NFTs for free uh, to all my uh, Jor Parivar holders on 22nd March, which was my birthday in the month of March 2022. And that enables them for a physical gift. Now that physical gift is something which is known as Jor Box, within which there are a couple of items. Uh, which probably uh, you would see in some of the other vlog once it is delivered to our holders and for that specifically now just imagine somebody who is holding an NFT is my customer assume that now that customer without them knowing or without them asking or without them expecting the brand is delivering something new for free which is an NFT and once again and that brand again via that NFT is pushing out physical gift as well for free and for that physical gift once again which is going to be free we are now doing that additional effort of going to 44 km uh, 21 km 23 km right now and like driving all across to just film a couple of things which we want to show it to our holders that this is you what you're going to get or uh, something which we would create as a video we will update that in the smart contract of our jorbox nft and the video would also change which is what we did earlier our jorbox nft had some dancing gifting box and later on after that we just have right now if you see there is this shipping on their way and now probably by the time you are watching maybe it might have changed because this video today whatever we're going to be shooting or filming we would use a certain part of that and we would update that in our smart contract and the video would change so like without our customer paying us anything more we are trying as a brand to just bring more and more customer experience to bring more and more uh, you know, uh, beautiful experiences, which I have started calling as Jor experiences without them asking. And this is where uh, the question which a lot of people have in their mind that how to stand out in the market, how to stand out in this competitive market, what should we do creatively uh, to stand out in the market, all such kind of questions which people have or brands, businesses, services, products have to stand out in the market. This is the answer. You don't have to Google something. You just be as a good human being. You think of your customers legit in a in legit ways and you just do it as much as you can. Now, a lot of people might say that, hey Pratik, you might have money. So that's the reason why you are able to do this Jorbox and all. You are able to do this NFT and all. I'm like, okay, fine. Now I have money. I didn't have money earlier. I'm into this business since past almost like now, since 2018, so almost four years now. And I have been working since 2010. So I have an eight years of job career as well. And within which I also over delivered within which when somebody at let's say 2014 call center job, when I was a customer service head or a customer sales representative as well at uh, directmobiles.co.uk, when people used to come to buy mobile plans in the UK, I was an online chapter rep uh, representative, uh, a call center. So when they used to have mobile plans bought, I used to over deliver them with some customer service or some good little, uh, you know, talks and things like that. And that's where they used to buy power banks as well, which was 10 pounds at that point in time. I don't know what is the current scenario right now, but people who used to buy $79, $79.99 uh, pounds worth of mobile plans at directmobiles.co.uk, they used to buy 10 pounds additional power bank, which was an upsell for me, which is where my boss used to be happy because I'm upselling more and more products without me actually trying to sell more. So I have always believed in this one strategy, which is like start helping others so that you can sell more because the moment you just keep on selling, 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 you will be just another salesperson. But if you just focus on, you know, this one line, which is stop selling, start helping and you will sell even more. So that's something which you should always focus on. And with that being said, this is your host and those the digital Pratik signing off a 33 year old smiling practical dude trying to make sure that you always stay awesome, God bless and Keep smiling. And before you leave, like, comment, subscribe, and whatever you want to do on YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye.